Today we are going to be doing an upgrade. This machine right now has a 6.34 gig Maxter hard drive in it. I don't use it for anything, but it would be nice to have the extra space in there just in case I ever do use it so I can load more programs on it. And for that purpose, what I have here is a 20 gig Maxter hard drive. Drive has bad bearings, I know that, so the person who told me that it has bad bearings, I said that it had bad bearings in the description, so... <laughs> yeah, that's insulting to my intelligence, but... Not like I really care at this point, that's probably not a good place to put it, but I'm gonna take this out of here and I'm going to get out my screwdrivers and hopefully I can find my OS 9 disk because I have no idea where it is. Well, it took some looking, but I found my... 10 or 11 year old OS 9 disk and uh, for those of you who are going to complain about me using OS 9 and not installing OS 10 first of all I don't have a 10.3 disk and um, I don't actually feel like um, hacking OS 10.4 on here and uh, this machine is mainly going to be my classic Mac OS system if I wanted to use OS 10 I have a perfectly good Macintosh right there that I can use no problem so, yeah, I actually remember burning this, too, like, about 10 or 11 years ago. And, uh, you know what? I have a picture of the machine that I used to burn that. Let's find it. I know I have a picture somewhere, and I want to show that to you. Ah, good old photo album. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, here it is. The very first page. Here's a little bit of a history lesson for you. I used to have a very extensive PC collection. Back until a lightning strike in 2007 took it all away from me. The hell happened here? Anyway, I'll have to deal with that. Uh, but, none of my machines are in my bedroom, except for that one. That one right there. Which was the machine that I had used to burn that disc. And my camera's gone on. There we go. That was a Toshiba. And at that time, the, uh, <laughs> the I think the battery still worked at that point. But two years later, the battery ended up failing. But that was the machine that I used to burn that, because it had a CDRW drive in it. That was the only machine that I had that could burn CDs. Not DVDs, I didn't have a system at that point that could even read DVDs. But that was the only one that I had that could burn CDs. It was a CDRW drive. Or maybe it was just a CDR drive, I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure it was a CDRW, it was not a DVD-ROM. And I used that to make this. This is probably 10 years old, I have no idea if it works. And um, if it doesn't work, I don't really care. I can easily just throw the old drive back in there. So let's just uh, take this out, put you on the tripod, and we will um, <clears throat> take a look at this. We'll replace the hard drive. I'll show you the entire process of me doing so. Okay, so for all of those who are complaining about the tripod non-stop, here is your freaking tripod now. Are you happy? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all this crap out of, out of the way so I can actually access the system itself. And, uh, what a mess. There's my 16 gig card. Awesome. Uh, get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. Uh, there's a popcorn kernel under there. I don't know how long that's been there, but that has to go. And unplug the system. Pull the cord forward. That way it doesn't fall. And pull the system up. I have already unplugged the keyboard. The keyboard is on the floor at the moment. Urgh. This thing is actually really heavy. For being a G3 and being older. It's pretty heavy. I'm going to flip it around. Working on this with this on the floor is not a very good idea. But... I'm doing it anyways because, well, I can.
if it doesn't work, here's the moment of truth. I'm actually kind of scared to do this. Drive kicked on. Drive is really loud, actually. Let's see what it does. Let's insert a disc here. I'll kick it on and I'll make it boot from, from the CD if this will even work. This is my OS 9 disc. Hopefully this works. What's it doing? Can't even hear the damn CD-ROM drive over that racket. That's like, that's how bad it is. Whoops. Question mark. So it does not see the disc. Oh boy. works. Option. Let's see if it finds the CD-ROM. I might have to get another copy of OS 10 or OS 9. Come on. Mouse works. So everything works, at least the hard drive doesn't give me a click of death. So I know that, that part works. Now the big trouble is trying to get an OS loaded on this thing because it can't find anything on my CD. Which sucks. Come on. No, it's not finding my CD, so. Spin down fully. Hold down the mouse to eject the CD. She doesn't seem to want to do. Of course, I don't know where my eject key is on this keyboard, so... I have to figure out how to force eject the CD on an older Macintosh. So it's uh, taken my CD hostage. I'm gonna go get, and I'm going to hopefully get another disc so I can use OS 9 on here. But I'll see what I can do. Holy crap. Find my eject disc. One of these will eject it. Figured it out. You know what would be very helpful? Is if I had checked the damn dry jumpers before I'd even uh, bothered to put it in there. I had it jumpered for slave. It's supposed to be jumpered for master. So now that's dealt with. I have an extra jumper here that was on this drive that I didn't install because I 
didn't know what the jumpers were for the other drive. Holy crap. Sorry about the flickering, guys. I can do about that. And trust me, it's pretty bad on my eyes, too. Oh, I scratched the anti-glare. That's great. Um, yeah, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Um, for those of you who are pretty bad, um, I'll put a warning at the beginning of the video saying that you shouldn't watch this if you're epi epileptic. So apparently it's working, which is great. OS 9 installed. What I should have done before is read the before you install, which I'm going to read right now. Turn off any security software, make sure it's plugged in, start up, blah blah blah, turn off file sharing, turn off all this crap. Okay, so that's basically just a bunch of uh, license agreements and other junk that I don't care about at this point. See if I can... Yeah, I can't change any of the resolutions or anything, so I can't do a whole lot about this. Select destination. The valid destination volume cannot be found. Hmm, okay. Not initialized. Initialize the drive. See if it works. So, alright, the drive is now initialized. You can get out of that. See if now we can install OS 9. Because it was, it was formatted for a Windows partition to begin with. And uh, I suppose that it doesn't really like that. Untitled. This disk has enough space. Oh, 20 gigs. Continue. Uh, continue. I agree to that. Uh, customize. I do want to customize here. OS 9. What on here do we need? Let's install English Speech. Let's allow all that. Options. Update. Alright, now we are installing OS 9. Process will take a while. I think this is pretty much the worst case of flickering I've ever seen on any machine with any camera ever. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Holy crap. I was not expecting it to be that bad. Uh, but I'll come back when that's finished and everything will be good, hopefully. Alright, check that out. Installation is done. <clears throat> Quit. Check the CD ROM. Oh. oh, forget it. Booting off of the internal hard drive, I believe. Don't even really hear the uh, hard drive seeking. And I'm actually going to prepare some disks of software so I can load those.
It's not nearly as flickery. Oh, <laughs> there we go. There is the flickering. Um. <clears throat> At least it works. That's all that I care about. It's pretty damn good, too. Is this even... I wonder if this is running the, um... Setup Assistant. Uh, US. What time is it? That's definitely wrong. Uh, it's 9.32. PM. 933, sorry. Twenty thirteen. Oh. <laughs> Got my time my location correct. Simple finder, no. Network settings. Power PC seven fifty. We'll call it I. Password to protect your files. Nope, I don't care. You have not provided a password. Why do I care? Blah. Actually, I might as well make it something that I know, so. Shared file. Do I want to have a shared folder? I don't care. Actually, you know what? Yes, let's make a shared folder. How is your printer connected? I don't have a printer. <laughs> Network. I don't care. Go ahead. It's not going to be able to do very much. Quit out of that. What I want to know is if it's running the... Nope, it's not running the update, so we have to run the update. Destination disk. Alright, so now it's running the update. Recommended, can't do anything else. Start. Continue to auto quit everything, so now it's installing uh, the update. Which is good for me because I'm gonna have to go get some disks and uh, start burning crap. So I can get all the software that I want on here loaded onto the system.
not fast, that's for sure, but it could be slower. <clears throat> I believe that should be it. It is now running 904 with the power, excuse me, PC enabler going. And I can now remove that CD. And, uh, put that back in there. Not bad for a 10-year-old disc. Uh, what's in the trash? System resources. <laughs> How ironic is that? Uh, control panels. Um, sound. First of all, my volume is turned way the heck down. the most. Uh, input devices. Should be functional. Uh, this needs to be changed. I don't know if I can change the volume label. Can I rename? Nope, apparently I can't, and I don't care. So, <clears throat> let's take a look at the system profiler. Three hundred and fifty megahertz power PCG three, and uh, all that crap. Hard drive. You have a five TO twenty H two, which probably means that it has two heads on it. Max to drive, non-removable, one partition, blah, blah, blah. Everything is good. Everything is great. And now I'm going to get all of the disks that I want burned and we'll load this thing up with software. What we have here hopefully works, but it's... <clears throat> oh, wait, I have to install Stuff at Expander, don't I? Um, let's try it anyway. Both of those are SIT files. I believe I have to install Stuff at Expander before I can even bother to use it. But we can try anyway. Do have an external floppy drive, so if I need to load, I will. It is locked, so you will not be able to. Oh, actually, let's create copies of it onto the desktop. See, it works. Holy crap, stuff at Expander. It's actually working. Right now I'm burning the second one. <clears throat> this is a Final Cut Pro 2.0, by the way. Really old version, but it's still Final Cut Pro. I'll probably never use it, but it's there, in case I do want to use it. QuickTime installer. QuickTime 5. Is, that, is this a beta version of QuickTime? I believe it's a beta version of QuickTime. Recommended. Suggested for QuickTime Pro. Blah, blah, blah. This is not QuickTime Pro, but whatever. Why do I care?
Uh, continue. Actually, no, quit. Uh, I'm gonna have to reboot, aren't I? There we go, there's focus. That actually is kind of annoying, let's be honest here. That's Insignia Soft Windows, by the way. So, have to get that written down and we'll have to get the next disc going. But I will definitely be waiting until this is done before I bother to install anything else. Well, as it turns out, Turns out that QuickTime installation didn't work because the beta's expired, so I'm gonna have to go get QuickTime for this thing, but I don't care at this point. What I care about is uh, getting After Dark on here. I wanna open it anyway. So that's unstuffing all this crap. Business Productivity Demo CD. Figured it'd be a nice thing to have, just for test purposes. That hard drive is actually kind of annoying. And I just realized that I haven't been recording this in a high quality. Oops. One thing that I find funny is that it keeps saying one, but there's still stuff there. It's kind of cool, actually. After Dark. After Dark 9. Error of Type 1. Hmm. Oops. I guess I'll have to figure out what that is. These stuff it files can be deleted now. This can be ejected. my disk. Now let's move on to uh, the next program. Insignia Soft Windows 95. Let's see if this works. Oh. That's odd. No cannon. This is all courtesy of WinWorld PC, by the way. Soft Windows, custom installation. Actually, let's just do the easy install, which should be everything. No, I want the custom installation. Actually, we'll just go with the easy installation, I don't care. See if it works. Camera's going crazy. Register now and receive excellent technical support and prompt upgrade notification. I don't believe Insignia is even in business anymore, so screw that. Window desktop size, 640 by 480 by 256. PC extended memory. Windows optimum. Here, let's leave it at 15 megs. Delta catch, fastest, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead. Please personalize your copy. Time limited demo. So I'm gonna have to 
jack a serial number from online in order to use this. Pretty sure I actually have serial numbers somewhere for this thing. All right, cool. It's working. So let's see. Installer logs, applications. Uh, let's see if I can find the damn thing. <clears throat> Soft Windows 95. There we go. Uh, use our online register. Shut up. Continue. Turn your modem on. Continue, because I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. Forget it. Yes, I want to cancel, because I don't care. I don't want to register the damn thing. I just want to use it. Oops. So now this is working. Oh, hey, look, it's working. It's really slow, because, of course, it's running on a power PC. See how well it works. Holy crap. Well, it works. Awesome. <laughs> really cool. Too bad the volume is turned up way so freaking high. Even as all the sounds. Which, by the way, are from Windows 3.1, except for the startup sound. Sounds so cool on an iMac. We they also have the ta-da sound. Oh, and by the way, it also has the jungle sounds for those that are interested in those. Jungle, Music Hub, Robots, and uh, I believe also Utopia. Yes, also Utopia. That's a blast from the past. You certainly won't hear that on any ordinary iMac. And away we go. Okay, so it works. Registration thing is really annoying though, so I suppose you can't really ask for much. And my control strip disappeared. What the hell? Start up the control strip. There you go. Now everything's working. Now I can remove that and get on with the next one. Alright, so this is the demo app CD. In case you're wondering. Business productivity. Oh, holy crap. Read me first. Do the demos. These are some application demos. Audio video processing. Wow. Demo apps. This is the at ease runtime, by the way. <laughs> at ease. It's funny. Ah, uh, quit. Wish I could find at ease, but I can't find the damn thing, so. It's the at ease runtime, which is what we have right here. Have 23 pages worth of demo apps. I think what I'll do is I'll create a copy of that on my. Select all. Copy into a folder on my desktop. Productivity demos. See if it actually will work from here. Put a copy into that folder.
We have about a, maybe 600 or so megabytes worth of files here. So this could take a while. And it could also not even work. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. I had to take off, um, what is it? After Dark, because it doesn't work with this version of a uh, Mac OS, so. Uh, let's install Encarta 95. Customize 701 or System 71 or later. Easy installation. Faster in Carta for 71 or later install. Continue to automatically quit. Quick time cannot be replaced. Are you joking? Placed by the installer, no installation will take place. Really? Move the file to another folder and try again. Ah, jeez. Quick time. Quick time must be installed. Let's load a version of Quick Time onto the system. Okay, and Kurt is loaded, or at least it was, and uh, it's not working. Cannot find the files needed to start. Gee, they're right there. Why are you doing that? How about we insert the CD and see what happens? my luck, I did the CD install, which is my fault, but I don't find the files needed to start, you bastard. There it goes, Microsoft Home. that down because that's kind of weird. You don't understand. Um, okay. Kind of cool. Is it playing now? Oh, it's not playing anymore. Anyway, so that's in Carter. We're going to have to take a look at that in its own little video. And that actually was kind of funny. Uh, eject the disk. Actually, I'm going to rerun the installer. Let's try rerunning the installer here. And install the faster Encarta. See what it does. Holy crap! Holy blinking! It's like, geez, I've never seen a machine blink that much. Restart. Hold on on the mouse. Actually, no, you know what? We'll just let it go. I don't care. I'm going to change the startup device because that's one of the big things that I need to do.
Oot. Oh my god, it's actually doing something. Performance increase? Nah, not really. <laughs> but at least it's uh, got more hard drive space on it now. And that was really one of the only things that I actually ended up caring about. It was the hard drive space that I would gain. Just lower the volume so that doesn't blow me out of the seat of my pants when I try to load it. Probably gonna have to reinsert the CD anyway. Just leave it there. No, it needs the CD. Let's install QuickTime. Get that working, hopefully. Quit to leave the- uh, Quit to leave. I don't care. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out. Get out. Disappear. Shoo. I don't care. Shut up. Now let's see what happens. Still bitches because it doesn't have all the files. So it is going to need the disc, which is okay, but... It's quite annoying that it needs the disc. Oh well, you can't have everything. And now we're going to install Fire FireMaker, FileMaker Pro 5 for the Mac OS. Hopefully it's for the Mac OS and I downloaded the right one. So if I didn't, then we have a problem. Less crap can get out of here. Filemaker, start here. Accept. Easy installation. Yeah, easy installation. Excuse me, installation. Oh. Keyboard's out of line. Well, it's an installation code. Let's get one. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Works seamlessly with Microsoft Office. Awesome. I'm going to be installing Office, too. And for Office, I actually have a copy, so... <laughs> no downloading for that. Look how fast that is. Click restart, which we will do. Press and hold the mouse. It ejects the CD, because we don't need the CD anymore. Here we go. Oh, I said I was going to change the startup disk, didn't I? Oops. Let's do that. That's the next thing that we're going to do. Startup disk. This one. Now let's check and see if it's actually working the way it's supposed to. I think it takes a long time to spin down, but of course, the bearings are shot, so... Kind of makes sense. Not really, but it does still make sense. 
Okay, that was contradictory. Um. Anyways. Hopefully boots now. Yep, that solved our problem. Wouldn't that just be so sad if it didn't boot and I screwed it up because it did that? That would suck. I'll tell you that much. Alright, so FileMaker works. I actually remember using this program in uh, grade 9. This was the program that we used for database work. So I already know how to use all the features with it. Um, now for the piece de resistance. Office. Let's install that. Here we go. Office is the last thing that I need to install on here. That's exactly what we're going to do. <coughs> Oh no, I E. Ew. I'm not installing that crap. Copy this folder to your hard disk. Just throw it in my desktop or throw it into the hard drive now. Yeah, I'm definitely sorry for all the flickering, but like I said, there's not much I can do about that. If I really want to change it so that it doesn't flickering so much, I'd have to turn the, uh, the display resolution way the heck down, and I'm not doing that. That's even worse. Now my camera won't even freaking focus on it. It's pretty bad. I think I like 1024 by 768 more. Even though it makes my camera, like, just totally hate me. And now I want to focus. Freaking sucks. Value pack. Value pack installer. Let's install the value pack. Let's install all of it. Holy crap, that's going to need a lot of disk space. Nah, don't install anything. Let's just make sure it works, first of all. All I care about is that there's all that crap installed. And that it all works. Good. Okay, let's in, let's enter our key now. Went so fast I couldn't take a video of it. Okay. It's working though, which is all that I care about. Ha! Huh. I'll check that out. Start using PowerPoint. Uh, get the heck out of that. All that's good, and uh, I don't even care about any of the rest of the extra crap, so screw you. Get out of my face now. And uh, there we go. There's my little upgrade. Probably a lot longer than you wanted to see, but uh, what are you going to do? All that's now gone. I'm going to turn my volume back up where it was. Make sure that the sound still works, the startup sound. It does.
<laughs> Holy crap. My camera won't even focus on it so bad. All right, I think that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say. It's 11 o'clock right now. 11.20, almost 11.30. So uh, I'm going to end this before I start rambling. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then. And yes, that is normal. It did that with the old hard drive.